Our ship has been loaded with supplies. The young scientists and sailors have arrived. In the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, we've all been tested and isolated before our adventure. The whole team has undergone several days of sail training in preparation, learning the ropes. It's time to cast off from Sharpness docks, but leaving isn't easy. So Sharpness is one of the most challenging ports to get in and out of in the UK because of the tidal restriction. So uh, for any experienced uh, captain or navigator, it still, uh, still gives you pause for thought uh, when you're arriving or departing. It's a historic dock that's been here for a long time and the exit or entrance from this dock into the Seven Estuary can be quite challenging. Um, the Seven Estuary just outside us here uh, has the second highest tidal range in the world. So there's a very uh, long distance between high water and low water at each tide. And the result of that is that there's an incredibly fast current that flows past the entrance to this uh, lock uh, and makes it quite challenging to navigate a ship safely from the sheltered waters of the basin we're in now right out into the Seven Estuary and then down to the sea out to the Bristol Channel. And the key with leaving Sharpness is you get two or three minutes when there's slack tide or virtually slack tide across the entrance. If you leave too early, the tide will push you upriver and you risk hitting something on the upriver up side of the entrance. If you leave it too late, obviously the opposite is true and the vessel could be knocked off course and swept downriver to the south uh, and there's a risk of obviously running aground or something on the southern side of the entrance. So uh, I'll be standing here with the pilot looking over the bow and visually waiting for the tide to slacken so we can see that current ebbing, that current dropping away and then all of a sudden when the pilot's happy uh, we'll go for it quite quickly and I have to build up a certain amount of momentum, a certain amount of speed from our standing start if you will uh, so that as I pass the outer gates of the lock uh, we're going fast enough that we, our forward momentum pops us out like a cork out of a bottle and we're out in the Seven Estuary and making our way down towards the uh, bridges, the motorway bridges across the Seven and then out into the Bristol Channel. The lock levels and tide are just right and we start to pull forward. It's a difficult maneuver to enter the lock and it takes everyone's full attention as it's a tight squeeze. But we're out into open water We're now on our way down the Bristol Channel and on course for our next stop, Folkestone. 